Salam Vachaha. Hi, my name is Bahar, and today I want to tell you a story from Shahname with puppets. Wait a minute, what is Shahname? Well, I have one here to show you. Shahname is the epic book of the Persian kings. Shahname. Ferdosi is the author of Shahname. Bacha, it took him 33 years to finish this book. This is the largest epic poem done by a single poet. And it was written because he wanted to preserve the language, the culture, the myths, and the legends of the ancient Persia. So, the story that I want to tell you today with the puppets is related to the coming of spring and the celebration of Nowruz. I am sure you've heard about Nowruz, but shall we review it a little bit? So, as we know, in the winter time, the daytime is much shorter than the nighttime. And then as we get closer and closer to the springtime, the days start to get longer and the nights start to get shorter. But there is this very specific time that the length of the day and the length of the night are going to be equal. We call that the vernal equinox. It also marks the end of the journey of the earth around the sun. We know it takes about 365 days and a few hours and minutes and seconds for the earth to finish its journey around the sun. And once it is about to finish it, it's actually that time when the length of the day and the length of the night are going to be equal and boom, the new year and the Persian calendar begins. The Persian calendar begins on Nowruz, the new day, the first day of Farvardin. Farvardin is the name of the first month of the Persian year. So, the story that I want to tell you today from Shahnameh is going to be about a very kind, generous, and just king named Jamshid. And then the celebration of Nowruz, the new day as we call it, according to Shahnameh. But we're going to be using some puppets. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to create all the puppets we need so that we have the full scene of the Noru celebration. This is the Shahnameh I will be using today to tell you the story of King Jamshid and the celebration of Nowruz. This book is illustrated and designed by Hamid Rahmanian. The translation and adaptations by Ahmad Sadri. به نام خداوند جان و خرد که از این برتر اندیشه بر نگذرد So let's hear the story of Jamshid and Shahname. I will go back and forth between the translated verses of the actual Shahname and the prose that is from this version of Shahnameh that I showed you. This is an illustration of Jamshid that you also have the files to for later on where we want to create the puppet. Jamshid, the mighty son of Tahmures, full of his father's maxims, girt himself, succeeded to his glorious father's throne and wore in kingly wise, the crown of gold. The world took refuge in his protection 
and all submitted to him, including the birds of the sky, the demons, the fairies. Jamshi charmed the iron and fashioned armor for both men and warhouses. He established a tradition whereby champions were encouraged to taunt their enemies and seek glory on the battle. Among the important inventions of King Jamshid was his creation of social classes. He divided the people into four classes, the priests, the warriors, the farmers, and the artisans. Each profession was given its exclusive purpose. For 50 years, the king allowed the four vocations to take roots. Jamshid allotted the next 50 years of his reign to building. He dragooned the demons to fashion mud into bricks and mix water with plaster in order to build palaces and bathhouses. They also carved blocks from boulders of granite in accordance with the rules of geometric design to erect magnificent buildings. He searched among the rocks for stones whose luster attracted him and came on many a jewel as rubies, amber, silver, and gold. Jamshid unlocked their doors and brought them forth by spells. He introduced the scents that men enjoy as camphor, genuine musk, gum benjamin, sweet aloe, ambergris, and bright rose water. It was Jamshid who founded the field of medicine. It was he who built ships and crossed watery passages that separate the realms of the world. These labors that contributed to human civilization consumed another 50 years of Jamshid's reign. When all this was accomplished, the exalted Jamshid built a jewel-encrusted throne with the aid of his divine sanction. The throne was held aloft by demons and fairies whenever the king wished. When his throne was lifted to the heavens, Jamshid looked radiant upon the sky like the shining sun. The world gathered to behold the king in wonderment and rained on him a shower of gems. One such day coincided with the first day of spring. All praised Jamshid on his high throne. The day was given the name Noruz, and it was made the eve of the Persian New Year. The olden kings gave us the gift of a peaceful holiday calling for wine and musicians at the onset of spring. They forgave, they forgot, and drank their worries away. Thus, for 300 years, Jamshid ruled in justice and triumph. People and demons obeyed the glorious king who was aglow with the halo of a divinely sanctioned monarch. Now that we've heard the story of King Jamshid and the celebration of Noruz, let's get to work. So this is the scene that we want to recreate with our puppets. The scene where the fairies and the demons bring up the throne and the sun hits it so beautifully, creates a halo behind him. So, what do we need to recreate this scene? Easy peasy. Print out the illustrations of King Jamshid and the two fairies. Have a bunch of colored pencils, crayons, markers in hand. 
You can also have other stuff like glitters, any kind of little gems, glue, if you want to add more decorations to your puppets or the scenery. The other thing that we will need is a pair of scissors, some tape. To mount the puppets, I will be using a recyclable to-go box. And then for the throne, I will be using a recyclable plate. Of course, you can use a shoe box, a packaging box, and as of the throne, you could also use a paper cup or maybe a bowl. Shall we start? Okay, let's get to work and create our puppets. You do have a PDF file with the angels and also the king jam sheet. These are the patterns that we're gonna color and then cut around the edges so that we can use them as our puppets. You can use markers or colored pencils or any other thing that you would like to use to color your puppets. We will need regular tape and of course a pair of scissors. Just go and color our puppets first. What I have done is, because I wanted to make a bigger version of it, I zoomed in and I printed it in a bigger size, both of the angels and also King Jam Sheet. You could print it smaller if you want your whole throne and the angels to be smaller, or you can print it in a bigger size if you want to, like me, create a big Norris festival. Okay, my King Jam Sheet is done. I have used my color pencils and my markers to create different textures for his cloak, for his different part of his clothing today. And I also used the same pattern that is on his crown to design some parts of his cloak and also the little pieces of it on the bottom of his clothing. And I got creative with designing his cloak. You can do whatever you want to create a very glorious king jam sheet. Bachelha, the next step would be cutting him out of this piece of paper. I went all around the edges very, very carefully mm -hmm, to bring out my version of king jam jam sheet. Um, Bacho Hojun, we are going to be using regular pencils and our tape to attach it to the, uh, to, to the back of our puppets and um, then we can basically mount the scene that I was telling you about. But wait, 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 don't do that to King Jam Sheet yet because I want to show you how he's going to be sitting on a throne and we will attach this pencil to the back of his throne and then Put him on the scene we want but now we should get to work and work on our angels so I've used these two ones so I wanted them to be two different sizes so I use this one that is smaller and then the mirrored version of it bigger. So I wanted to create a little perspective in my Noru scene. Okay, so let's start and color them with our markers and our color pencil.
Okay, as you can see, my angel is out. I know this was a tricky one to cut because of all these crevices and edges, but don't worry, the more time you spend on it, the more divine and glorious it's gonna look. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my second angel. She is mirrored to the other one and she's a little bigger. So you could either color her the same way you, you colored your first angel or you could use other colors and make her look different. Your own choice. I decided to color my second angel a little diff differently but with the same color palette. I decided to keep the part of her wings white and I added a little bit of pattern and some texture. Let's cut her out. Okay, finally done. My second angel, my second fairy is also ready to go. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna put two pencils behind each one of them and then we're gonna tape it so that we can hold these angels without hurting their fragile wings. So now it's the time to put two pencils behind their back and tape it. So. I'm going to use the bigger one for the bigger fairy. Take the tape and easy peasy. If you think you need two pieces of tape, Please feel free. I feel my fairy is secured enough and it also gives me enough movement to make her wings move like that. That's pretty cool, right? Look, it seems like she's actually flapping her wings, right? So now let's do the same to the little one. So depending on how Far you want your pencil to support the back of your puppet that's gonna give you less or more liberty of movement later so the more you secure it the less your puppet is gonna move the less support you give the more that your puppet is gonna move so that's also your choice I think this should be good Well, you see, now this side of my puppet is moving more than the wings. So I can easily adjust where I want my puppet to move and where I don't want it to move. So if I bring it closer to her waistline, then I will limit the movement of down here and create more movement in the wings. Check this out. See? Now I have two beautiful angel fairies that are flapping their wings. Now we want to create the throne of King Jamsheet. For this one, I'm just using a regular recyclable plate that this one is actually made out of wood, but you could also use a recyclable paper plate as well. 
So what I'm gonna do is I want to put King Jamshid right here so that this could be the back of his throne. And then I'm gonna create a line here, cut it and then fold it so that it could be like a seated throne. So let's say that I wanna cut from here. I'm gonna use a bigger pair of scissors If your recyclable plate is made out of paper, you could easily fold it, but mine is made out of uh, wood, so that's why I need to cut it, actually. So, this is now the back of the throne. Shall we design it? You could do whatever you want based on the material of your throne, based on whatever utensils you have, you can do and design the throne the way you want. If you have little gems, plastic gems, you could also attach them with glue because as you know, this throne was completely covered with a lot of jewels and a lot of very expensive and luxurious material. Pretty good, right? Do you remember we talked about when King Jamshid actually was lifted by his throne, then the glow of the sun actually reflected back and it created a beautiful scene. And later on they said that he actually developed a halo because he was a very justful and kind king that he developed a divine halo or a glow so now i want to create that halo that glow or basically the sun that's going to be behind his throne and make his throne glow and reflect more so for this one i'm actually using a recyclable bowl and um, I just want to design it a little color to make it more sparkly and beautiful and then put it right here. If you have more material like glitter and stuff, feel free. This is your version of the sun and the halo. Look at this, looks good. So I actually took a picture and printed it so that I can have a little bit of very fancy clouds. But don't worry if you don't wanna do this, you can just easily grab a white piece of paper and draw a piece of cloud in the shape that you want, cut it, and then attach it to the throne if you want. For myself, I really love the shape of these fancy clouds, so I decided to print them out. Okay, now it's the time to mount our puppets. For this one, you can use a box. It could be a shoe box, it could be a packaging box you get in the mail, or a to-go box. So what I'm gonna do with this to-go box is that I will create some holes on it, and then I will insert the pencils in those holes and then our whole scene of throne will be mounted and then we can actually lift it up to show that the fairies 
the divs are lifting the throne up. So now that I'm using this one, I won't be creating the bottom of my throne anymore because I noticed that this could also be part of it. But you could create a seated throne as we talked about by folding it, by attaching an extra piece. If you want to mount it higher, whatever you want to do. But for me, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to attach the throne to a pencil in the back and then mount it right here and then also put my two fairies probably right here. This is my box mm -hmm. and I've also started to add more clouds right in the front. You see the holes are already put in there so now we want to go ahead and put the two fairies and also the throne of King Jamshid right there. So this is our mounted puppet. So, let's tell the story. From the verses of Shahnameh. Jamshid ambition rank loftier still, and by his royal grace made him a throne. With what? A wealth of gems inlaid, which when he willed, the deeds took up. And bear from earth to heaven. Remember? Remember our fairies and our deeds came out. So when he willed, the deeds took up and bare from earth to heaven. There, the Shah, whose word was law, sat sunlight in mid-air. The world assembled round his throne in wonder at his splendid fortune, while on him the people scattered jewels and bestowed upon the day the name of New Year's Day, the first of Farardin, end of the year. I hope you have enjoyed creating the scene of King Jamshid on his throne and the celebration of Nowruz. And I hope that you have enjoyed one of the stories of Shahnameh. I wish you, your family, your friends, your beloved ones, a prosperous new year. Nowruzetun Mubarak. I am Bahar, and I wish when Bahar comes, your new year is filled with miracles, joy, health, and success. Eidetun Mubarak, Nowruz Mubarak, Happy New Year, and thank you for creating this with me today. Nowruz Mubarak.